across the Mississippi River from Baton Rouge, law enforcement officials say they are trying to crack down on gang violence. West Baton Rouge Parish authorities are cracking down on gang violence across multiple parishes, which they say is a repeated pattern that they are trying to break. Back in 2019, a 14-year-old was shot in his home on Barrow Street in Iberville Parish. Officials say it was a result of gang violence that they are tired of seeing. It sounds like a good idea to go shoot up this house until you kill a two, three or four-year-old kid that had nothing to do with the battle that you are fighting, Iberville Parish Sheriff Brett Stassi says. Officials say it's a repeated pattern. A West Baton Rouge Parish jury convicted 28-year-old Daryl Braggs for killing one of his own gang members. District Attorney Tony Clayton says Braggs is a member of the Young and Reckless Gang from Point Coupe Parish. Braggs was convicted on Monday, January 31. Law enforcement members say they are working to stop this violence. Parish lines mean nothing to these people, it's just a ride down the road, adds Stassi. Stassi says they are now working with multiple parishes to keep track of these gangs, well, we are trying to make sure we are documenting all of these different groups where we can know who they are, and whenever Baton Rouge has something. There's a little nest egg that we can go to and say hold on that person is out of this area. People are reluctant or so to speak to call the gangs, but they call themselves gangs we are not just making that title up. 18th Judicial District Court investigator Aubrey Street Angelo adds. According to Street Angelo, a lot of times these violent gang crimes are linked to rap videos they are creating. Sometimes it can be a money grab for them based on who has the most likes. Street Angelo says many of the groups are trying to create an image over social media and the internet that they are better than the other group. Since the pandemic, Iberville Parish officials say there has been an uptick in crime. It's why Street Angelo and Stassi are reaching out to the community to curb the violence but to also educate those to not get involved in gang activity. I meet with the reverends, I try to meet with the reverends every year in Iberville Parish. Anybody that invites me to any group, we go out and talk to them, Stassi adds. Stassi says since the pandemic, they have had a hard time talking with groups due to restrictions, but they are trying to work around that as much as possible.